Welcome everyone! In this video we will work through two examples. The first one is to find the area of a parallelogram and the second one is how to calculate the volume of the parallelopiped. Both examples are with given vectors. The most important thing is that I will show it to you how to find these in a very easy way, just in seconds, using the Casio FX115 ES Plus calculator. So let's work through the first problem. What is the area of the parallelogram? bounded by the vectors a and b. We have vector a, 5i plus 4j plus 6k, and vector b, 4i plus 10j plus 7k. Well, whenever you are asked to find an area of a parallelogram and you are given vectors, all you need to know is that the area of the parallelogram equals the magnitude of the cross product of the two vectors. Now you're on this exam and you need to solve this problem within seconds. Here is how to do it with your calculator in one step. First, you need to insert the values for the vectors in your calculator. Go to mode, press 8 for vector, and now press 1 for vector A. Again 1 for the three directions of the vector. We have 5 equal, 4 equal, 6 equal. Press the AC all clear button in order for the calculator to save these values. Go to mode again. Press 8 for vector. Now choose option 2 for vector B. 1 for the three directions. Now we have 4 equal, 10 equal, 7 equal. All clear button. Well, now instead of doing the formula manually by finding the cross product and uh, then finding the man magnitude, we will do it in just one step. Press on the shift key here. This yellow key here is used to access each of the yellow options above each key. Now you see this absolute key here. By pressing the absolute value key, we can find the magnitude of a given vector. In our case, we will find the magnitude of the cross product between vector A and vector B by the formula given here. So shift key pressed, you choose the absolute key here. And now we need to insert the vectors. So shift again, we go and press five for vectors and now Option 3 for vector A. Now we have cross product, so we multiply by the vector B. We go to shift again, 5 for vector, now 4 for vector B. Close the parentheses and just press equal. 47.97, that's the area of the parallelogram. Now, let's work through the second question. What is the volume inside the parallelopiped bounded by the vectors A, B, and C? For A, we have min minus 5i minus 4j plus 3k. For vector B, we have 5i plus 4j plus 6k. And for vector C, we have 4i plus 10j plus 7k. The way that we can get the volume of the parallelopiped is we're going to use the formula here. So we're going to take the vector A and we are going to dot with the cross product of the vectors B and C. Can we do this with the calculator in just one step? I'm sure we can. What we will do first is we're going to insert the values of the vectors in the calculator. Go to mode, choose 8 for vector, 1 for vector A. And now 1 for the three directions of the vector. We have minus 5 equal, minus 4 equal, 3 equal, AC. Then go to mode, 8 for vector, 2 for vector B. 1 for the three directions. Now we have 5 equal, 4 equal equal 6 equal AC and then the last vector C option 8 3 for vector C and 1 for the three directions 
now we have 4 equal 10 equal 7 equal AC now we press the shift key here go to vector and we will choose option 3 for vector A so we are looking at our formula and we can see that we have the vector A and we dot with the cross product of the vector B and C so we have vector A we go to shift again 5 for vector and we see option 7 is for dot so we choose option 7 open the parentheses as per the equation shift again vector we choose 4 for vector B then cross product with vector C shift again vector option 5 for vector C close the parentheses and then just press equal 3 or 6 that is the volume of the parallelopiped format by the three vectors. Thanks for watching.